Today in History. Today, and we continue with our journey to the past. Yes, we have a couple of events, too, as a matter of fact, to share with our listeners today. But first, here is a quiz question. When a teenager is defiant and refuses to follow authority or tradition, he or she is said to be a number one marvel or number two rebel. The question again, when a teenager is defiant and refuses to follow authority or tradition, he or she is said to be a number one marvel or number two rebel. So if you think you know the answer, you can put it on our Bundy board or text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp one zero four five. That will cost you 51 and you could win yourself an Usan. So with that out of the way, let's find out what happened uh, and see what's on this list. Today in History. In 1951, The Catcher in the Rye was published, and in 1969, Apollo 11 was launched. 1951년 오늘은 미국 문항에서 매우 중요한 작품인 호밀밭의 파수꾼이 처음 출간되었습니다. 1969년에는 아폴로 11호가 발사되었네요. We begin today's journey to the past with one of the most influential books in modern times. Yeah, actually, with Barry in Barry's book club, I think we talked about this book in the not too uh, not too distant past. And it's J.D. Salinger's *The Catcher in the Rye*. It was on this day that it was published in 1951 for the very first time. The book has been deemed as the third most important book in American literature after The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and The Great Gatsby. And since its publication, The Catcher in the Rye and its main protagonist, Holden Caulfield, have become icons of teenage rebellion. That's right. More than 65 million copies of this book have been sold to date, and it has become a pillar in the English language canon, and it has been translated into almost all of the world's major languages. So it comes is no surprise that the book has been selected as a must-read book for students, as well as being part of the 100 best English language novels of the 20th century. In fact, it is often said that the book opened a whole new literary genre. Yeah, a book of such magnitude was bound to be followed by a film adaptation, but surprisingly, no major movie has been made depicting the journey of the main character, Holden Caulfield, and that's really surprising, isn't it? Yes, and that was because of a 1949 adaptation of another of Salinger's stories. The movie caused Salinger to refuse any subsequent adaptation of any of his works, including The Catcher in the Rye. What a shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet that would be an incredible movie. Nevertheless, the popularity of the book never faded away, and neither have the attempts to make it into a movie. Famous actors ranging from Marlon Brando and Jack Nicholson to Tobey Maguire, John Cusack, and Leonardo DiCaprio have always dreamed of playing Holden Caulfield. What do you think? Leonardo DiCaprio is Holden Caulfield? I don't he's too good looking. Well, Jack Nicholson, isn't he too old? Oh, he's too, too old <laughs> no. now. Yeah. He's, he's too old now. <laughs> Toby Maguire sounds seems like no, the youngest one he, right now. Nah, but he was Spider Man and he was terrible at And it. Uh, he doesn't seem rebellious enough. Yeah, John Cusack. Who would be a good Holden Caulfield these days? So you'd need like a teenage a, a teenage actor mm-hmm. who was kind of a little off, a little weird, right? Because that was Holden Caulfield's character. Yep. 네, 허밀밭의 파수꾼 정말 미국의 3대 문학으로 꼽히는 작품인데요. 우리는 요즘 사실 책으로 보는 것보다 영화화돼서 그 내용을 아는 경우가 많은데 이 경우에는 아직까지 영화가 된 적이 없습니다. 작가가 그것을 강하게 반대했기 때문이죠. Yeah, that would be a good question. Who would be a good Holden Caulfield? Have to think about that. Mm-hmm. Now let's uh, move to a couple of years later. Ta- uh, time travel uh, sound effect. Yours, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, when a small step for a man became a giant leap for mankind. That event was none other than the first time a human being stepped on the moon. And it was on this day in 1969 that the mission Apollo 11 was launched with millions of people witnessing the historic moment on the site and via TV. Yeah, now Apollo 11 was the fifth mission of NASA's Apollo program, and the crew was comprised of Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edward Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin is was his nickname, right? And on the fifth day of the mission on July 20th, one of the most famous quotes in history were uttered by Armstrong. Tranquility Base here. 
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That was good. I think that was a really good one. Do you、yeah. think he knew he was going to say that? I think he practiced it. I、it、think must, he did. Because this is such a great line. Do you think he, he, he came up with that himself, or do you think it was written for him? I, I don't think、know. it was written. You think it was yeah, written? But, yeah. Appar- but,、uh, apparently, people think it's one step for man. One small, sn- ste- one small step. Right, for man. exactly.、Uh, well, Armstrong, that is one of the、uh, world's most famous quotes coming from him. One small step for a man, one giant leap for a mankind. For a man is the actual quote, right?、Yeah. And this event has surely been depicted and mentioned many times in popular films. Forrest Gump, Men in Black 3, I'm sure there's so many, right? Yeah.、Mm. 1969, the Apollo 11 was the first to be able to do it. 20일 정도에 처음으로 닐 암스트롱. 그 나머지 두 명은 이름이 잘 기억되지도 않아요. 그래서 매사에 1등이 1등만 기억하는 아, 더러운 세상이라고 하는데 아무튼 네 그렇습니다. I think we should move on to the quiz. Okay. The question was, when a teenager is defiant and refuses to follow authority or tradition, he or she is said to be a Number two, rebel is the answer that we are looking for. Yep. Hey, 옛날 같았으면 James Dean, 아니면 조금 더 젊었을 Brad Pitt면 괜찮았을 텐데 mm. 계속 그 생각만 하고 있어요. James Dean was in a movie called Rebel Without a Cause, I think,、mm-hmm. right? I've never seen that movie. Is it good? I did, but yeah, he was handsome. Yeah? Yeah. Was the movie good, though? Um, I don't remember the <laughs> yeah, movie. I remember how it looked. Who cares about the movie? <laughs> He was hot. We'll go to this break, and when we come back, it's cooking segment time. It's Wednesday. It's food day. Here's REM, Man on the Moon.